week again in the qualifiers for this NSG tournament. But at this point, Ryan, just kind of need to go through the motions, right? It's round by round. We can start to get accustomed with names, but let's get accustomed to the frags. It's a skadoodle ro rolling back the years and grabbing himself a 4K on the round and a triple to finish off the pistol at this point. Ninja going to be able to get one. Still a couple more players looking around. It's actually going to be Spider collecting three out of that interaction. And there you go, Tom. They really wanted to push these players off mid. T1 have almost fallen into it, congregate, and they can see that the rolling fund is available. And Scar's even going to face it, just holds the angle, gets out. This operator change certainly suited T1, but not as aggressive as TSM, for example. But right now, Ninja and the rest of the time, and they're just walking into this operator. And Skadoodle's holding him at bay. And suddenly, this attack is losing a lot of its momentum. Oh. Even having a breach in mid is enough, and Scar hasn't been pushed too hard right now. He's oh, able man. to get another frag onto Kerr, and he's even trying to go for more. Jeez! He gets it when flashed as well. Gregor with the flash point actually able to catch him, but he's still able to predict that that was where he was going to be. And immediately, yet again, timing is struggling to make headway, but Morgus, Morgaus, is actually <laughs> broken through onto the A side, but there's still an omen lurking, and that omen's spider. Eight. But, well, Saya player, Spider, let's see how you do. It's pure chaos on this site as they haven't cleared the entire thing out. And Danny just has one more corner to actually check. And fortunately yeah, enough, no Spider is in that corner, ready and raring to go. Ninja going to go for the plant as he is going to get his ulti ready and raring to go online. And might be able to launch it right off the bat. You should run. And yes, he does. So that's off. Uh-oh couple of picks in i think they can because there is a little bit of that peek in but in comes ninja with the double off the jump that's what you like to see as now azk last person remaining in 1v3 he smoked off best that he can do is go for a couple of exit frags and make it at least a little bit worth it spike is still kind of ticking away what's going on now okay He's run out of time, Ryan. Round's over. Great stuff from Ninja. The aggressive team, hold W towards sight and just be totally successful. You have to be calculated and you really just have to outplay your t your opponents. And well, Spider, I don't think he really cares. Pulls out a little bit of a flash in. The paranoia gets booed on. And I think that's essentially it, isn't it? One player made their way on. They were done for. Spider with a huge 2K. Operate uh, off of it. Look at that tight angle from Brax, and he still nails the kill onto Danny. There's a little bit more work to do. Couple of players over towards main. It's gonna have to be split pressure from Spider, and Spider helps out. There you go, and not only that, but Brax pulls out the sheriff. It's the Wild West, and now Ninja is the last one remaining in a one v four. He does have the Vandal that he ended up picking up off of AZK's body. Cost him one given all of that space because of the lockdown. Gonna play retake every neural theft. If they can get a frag, they can get all of the information on where exactly everybody's playing. That's a really good aftershock to clear that angle, and AZK could follow up with the frag as well. That should hopefully be the cops that they can get that intel if they can get around to it. But they need to do it quickly. And we do see actually Brax sort of bottom of the pack when it comes to being right at the back of the lineup trying to push onto this site. And as time goes down, it's gonna become more of a struggle. They're trying to catch some of these corners and time in really buckling in because they have to sort of protect themselves on really obtuse angles. Look at this angle from AZK2. He's got it. Morg does end up taking down Daze, but that's going to be it. Brax has to run away, and then that's a beautiful, beautiful hold, especially off of that ulti. They waited until what would have been the last second. But and I, I got a sort of prerequisite what i mean about t1 that skadoodle never mind actually gets collateral two frags with one shot into kurt and grego he's been so strong on this b site he that's disastrous to say the least and not only that but ho oh, oh. here we go sai are you actually gonna go for it skadoodle i mean skadoodle doing skadoodle things once again yet another player gonna be walking up right towards a main and that's been his area this entire game it hasn't gone for any of the the cheesy B, B main strats that you would usually see from the okay from the Sova, but Morg he tries to teleport away, but I think he goes a little bit short. But AZK still gets the kill. Alarm but on mid, so at least enough people push that way. But this is a lot of people running into B. 
August is going to push. He's able to get one at least before Brax takes him down. He's immediately met by Grego at least. And Kurt has oh. made his way to the back on site. That flash is nice at least. Takes out Spider and is trying to get mob AZK. Able to get the frag. Spike should be planted, but it's a nice juicy 2v2. Once they can decide what they want to do. <laughs> right, exactly. I'm really just waiting out for what would be the spike plant because they had a lot of time for it. Really just trying to clear out. But again, they wait enough time that even Util is getting pulled out. But Ninja goes down and it's actually dazed to step up to the plate and get himself a 2k over in heaven. The same exact spot that Ninja pulled off in the first half. But they're still going to keep up in short. There is going to be graveyard presence where Morg is actually going to go down on A. Now here comes Rego with a little bit of a spray down. He tried to transfer on the spray, but what is going on? He gets completely dazed and amazed just from that yes. just from that flash alone and well well in comes days with a kill that's going to be an easy plant for him only only two players remaining is going to be danny and ninja ready and raring to go and there you go the recon bolt is going to help danny out a little bit and oh the spray through he does have the information onto azk but it's not exactly easy enough to spray through danny takes down azk Using that recon bolt, Ninja on the front line's gonna go down to Daze with the Bulldog. No, Danny's the last person remaining with the almighty Odin in his hands. Still spraying on through the jump coming in for Daze, but he gets the kill anyways. He's gonna do to watch the angle. No way does Danny win this. And he does. That's unbelievable. They had the ang. But it's all just, just disastrous. Uh, I think that was a bit of arrogance almost from T1. Not exactly extending out with the SMGs or anything of the sort. Nothing too, too crazy. What is Ninja doing? Ninja's just running through the smoke. Are you kidding me? He still gets the two kills. Spike is that down. That was so smart. That, so I, they had sure. the kill droid turret set across. And as soon as the turret picked up anybody, you had Mog that was basically on A Gardens, paranoia across, flashed everybody, and Ninja just went, screw it, ran in, got all of the plays that were near sighted. It was a smart play. It was honestly something that they probably should have saved for one of T1's full buy rounds. But I like that a lot. Using the Killjoy turret to track him, use it as a tripwire. As soon as it's triggered, Paranoia comes out and they just descend on T1 who are in the center of mid. Two over towards heaven if they do make their way on, but it's simply not going to happen. Spike goes down safely and now it's just down to Danny and Kurt. Kurt later on does have a little bit of a blade storm to actually pull out and he gets himself one. Still one more player over towards hell and even then it's actually Danny that, that gets the kill. Yet another round oh, using up the fault team. line and getting rid of Morgan. Look at that. The rolling thunder is going to help them out bits. Ninja still around. He is dazed and amazed. And this is going to be AZK with a kill. And uh, well, now it's just a four round three. Spike is finally going to go down. Spike planted. Now it's just down to three for at least now team or not team one. Time in. Danny's getting so many kills with this Odin. Still alive. I don't think he has a recon bolt available to him for quite some time, but luckily Grego and Kurt are able to get a few frags. ACK is slipped in around, trying to catch this jet, is able to get at least four frags, but can't get the final one as Grego just sits a bit more patiently on the back of sight. Tactical FPSs in general, where can you really make up a team? Can you really have that flow within a singular go? And I totally missed that. Curse coming in with a judge and he's going to be able to get himself too. If that's the X factor to things, it, it, hey, that's gotta hurt. Last person remaining now in the back lines is gonna be Skadoodle trying to run on away. Oh, in fact, it's gonna wait there. This is gonna be much help for his team because he's played so late to see if anybody will come through mid to try and catch him out on shot. That was at least massive for now, but you still have one is a little bit of a pinch. Two players over towards main, but it's actually Spider to make his way back on and get himself a couple. Ninja, there you go. He grabs two, but that's going to be it for the round. It's a little bit chaotic, but well, T1, they hold things down. Again, great fault line at the very end. Destroy. And AZK is still making as much noise as he can under towards hell. Not just noise, but still spraying on forward. Danny is actually going to get himself racks on that one I, if anything i thought azk was gonna die but danny has been a menace over towards heaven every single round but in comes the dash in from oh man from kurt but it's still going to be azk winning up for the drop and again it's it's just that classic angle i mean you see the same thing on uh i think mirage csgo b site it's 
and he's taken no damage at all. It's full armor. He was only able to buy 25 and has upgraded to the Phantom. Could get a second as Brax does take out the Omen on the side of Timon. So Monga's going to be out for the fight for now. And right now, Skadoodle is surrounded on all sides. Gets one at least. Kurt gets his third. Could be well on the way to an ace and knows where the spike is. So these three surviving members of Timon just need to wrap around as much as possible. Try not to let T1 take it back with ease, and it's getting a lot of utility dedicated, but seemingly free at this point to be. And he's been so pivotal with that heavy weapon rolling for the. Is it actually going to catch Kurt? And the no. flash is even good. It takes out AZK. I think he either flashed himself or at least got the help of Grego. The ace is very much looking likely. He knows where dazed is now and the flash is good that's the ace <laughs> really terrific play from timing exactly when they needed it couple of players or at least one without a gun and it's actually skadoodle stepping on up with the ulti but it's simply not going to work out in his favor it's a very quick takeover towards b and brax is going to take down two danny in the back lines he had the last hope but he simply couldn't capitalize grego he's already near his boathouse waiting for the smoke to dissipate spider is right behind it Oh. Still going to be held up, but he teleports on back. There's still two players in the back of sight. Spider is just stuck over towards main. He's not getting spotted either, but now at this point, he's just going to have to come down to the last two players over towards the back of sight. It's going to be Brax. Uh-oh. Uh, no. He's taking so much attention, though. He's still it's there. Rough. He's still being a nuisance. Morg has to try and clear it, and luckily he's able to... Get a few kills. I... The defuse is going to come in from Grego, and he has his paranoia available still, as well as the smoke. Thirty seconds but left. But Spider does catch him out, actually. Suddenly, this is a bit of an opening that T1 can fun. do to get onto the site. Surely could be. They just have to get the spike down, and they finally well off AZK. No, Danny takes him down off the Hunter's Fury. Beautiful positioning from Danny. Ten seconds left. The spike is still down. Again, Spider just looking for it. Dazed. Looking over towards main. And that's it. Danny has actually killed Spider too. That's the round. Pure chaos in the end here, Ryan. But it all works out just based off of you till for time in. You're on site where somehow this T1 squad, they've waltzed their way in just through smokes. And speaking of smokes, AZK is actually going to beep Danny right through it. Grego on the back lines. He has an opportunity for at least one, but he's not going to be able, able to capitalize on any more. Huge rolling thunder. Skadoodle takes down Morg. Still one more player remaining, and it's going to be Ninja now in a 1v4. Still stuck in heaven, and not only that, the lockdown ends up going down. Skadoodle with yet another one. That's his second on the round, and it goes all the way down to the wire. 24 rounds later, and we have a victor. It is none other than T1.